the influence that this great man has presented in this lifetime, and we honor you today. Bless you, Mother Allen. We represent from Molly Whitehead and as well as Lady uh, Pearl Hill of Bishop's Wives Circle. I've known Rand Salen since he was six. A couple of months ago, I turned 78. So sometimes I do forget my mic. I'm going to ask all of you to um, be as brief as you can. We have a musical selection by Elder Porter. And after him, after him, uh, Jerry, Bishop Jerry Givens, Bishop Zachary Williams, they have you for two minutes, but I'm going to ask you to take one. Apostle Mel Williams. Uh, they have you uh, down for, it's called priestly expressions. And then Bishop Q.S. Caldwell and Pastor Homer Jameson. Please. Uh, follow that suggestion. Say amen as they come. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. First, I give honor to God to add my life to this church and to all of the ministers. The man of God is going to get a word and to mother Alan and to the Allen family I said to myself I said I can't do this and then I thought about mama and I said I'm gonna do this I got to and uh, I want to say two things and I'm gonna go home to the song but I just said uh, Bishop Rance Allen called me uh, first I was toiling with something in my life and I was going to quit singing after about 20 years and Bishop called itself, I guess, fussing with me. And anybody that know how Bishop is, he speaks so soft, but he was still fussing. And he raised his eyebrow and said, no, no, you, you can't quit singing. You got too much to do. He said, when the enemy comes in like a flood, you know, he said, God will raise us standing up against you. He said, tell that enemy to flee. We got too much to do. So the second time he called me. He said, Paul, I might need you to sing a song on my live record. And I stopped him right there and said, Bishop, I don't mean no harm, but you don't need nobody to sing with you. But if you just want me to sing, we ain't even got to talk about it. I'm there. And with that, a song came, and I want to sing a verse of it today. sing this all across the country. Mama, I'm going to do this for you today. And I will trust in you with all of my heart. Hey, with all of my heart. Yes, I will. Bishop would say, I'll acknowledge you, cause I know, I know, you bring me through, you that I trust you. Not my wisdom. 
comes with you now. sweet to trust in you no one but you love sometime I get down on my knees and I say this talk to y'all two seconds and say what Bishop said. The day is a hard day for all of us because we love Bishop Mama. But Bishop would tell everybody here, that situation that you're dealing with, whatever it is, you know what he would say, Mama? You can't handle it no way. He said, what you need to do? And if y'all don't mind, everybody just take your hand and say, I'm going to turn it over to the Lord. That sickness, that problem, that heartache, that problem that you seem like you can't solve, I dare you to just turn it over to the Lord right now. And if you just lay back and just begin to call on the Lord,
going to give you a choice to see the kind of choice you make. If we go in this direction, they will not make the cemetery. We have a lot of other persons on the program. And the one thing that you have to do is resist the temptation to feature yourself. Excuse me. Uh, that's my only concern. And we're not going to be unfair to the second assistant presiding bishop. Now somebody might say, well, I can't control it. I'm so happy I can't control it. There's a scripture that says the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. I mean, whatever's in you, you can turn it on or off. I hate to disappoint you. Look at your program. You're not quite, you're just a little over half through. Now musicians, I presided over the National Musical for 20 years. So I want to encourage you, try to just be a little restraining and let us get through the program and hear the feature of this day. Thank you. To the bereaved family, devoted friends, to our chief apostle, presiding bishop, Charles Edward Blake and his absent, to our interim second assistant, presiding bishop, Cedric Daniels, to our efficient bishop Whitehead, to my own jurisdictional prelate, Bishop Don William Shelby. June 8th, 1953, 8.30 p.m., the worst tornado in the history of America touched down in the Beecher District of Flint, Michigan, killing 116 people, injuring 844, causing $19 million worth of damage, stayed on the, mile, on the ground for 18.9 miles with winds at 300 miles per hour that was moving boxcars off the railroad tracks. A day afterwards, the media came in to try to find a witness to this event, and they discovered an old Caucasian lady, and they said, can you tell us what happened prior to? And she said, yes. She said, moments before the storm hit, there was an ominous cloud in the sky. Minutes later, she said, there was an eerie silence, as if a giant vacuum cleaner had sucked all the oxygen out of the air.